Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we are going to be showing you how to make a creamy cucumber dill sauce. Cue the music. Thanks a lot for joining us. If this is your first time watching, please do me a favor, head down to the corner, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, you clicked on this video to watch me show you how to make a creamy dill cucumber sauce. So let's head into our kitchen over here and see what our ingredients are. We've got one cup of skim milk, four ounces of cream cheese, one cucumber, which I'm gonna peel and chop, and two tablespoons of fresh dill. Let's head over to our frying pan and start cooking this up. All right, our pan is on. I've got it at about a medium to medium high heat. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the milk right in there. And I'm also going to add the cream cheese right in there as well. And we're just gonna let this melt and get hot. And we're gonna kind of whip it in and, and, and mix it together while it cooks. Put it on medium because we're now we're going to head over to our cutting board and cut up our cucumber and our dill. Okay, got our cucumber and our dill. I'm going to just cut our cucumber in half lengthwise and then another cut right down the middle. I'm just going to chop it all the way down and throw all that in a bowl. Whoa. <laughs> None for the dog. And then with the dill, it's going to get rid of the big stalks there. And we're just gonna dice this up, or mince this up as well. Now, since we're adding the cucumbers and the dill at the same time, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right in there with that. That's all the prep we've got. Let's go back to our frying pan. All right, turn the heat up just a little bit. I did turn it down when we were over there cutting our, our vegetables, but I wanna get a little bit of a bubble going on these before I add the cucumbers. And I did cut the cucumbers a bit thicker than normal. Normally I like when it comes to a cucumber, I like to kind of mince it up a little smaller or slice it thinner, but I want it to kind of hold up in the sauce because when it gets hot and it starts cooking, it's gonna, it's gonna start uh, breaking down a little bit. And I want it to be a little stronger so I didn't cut it as thick. All right, the cream cheese is pretty much dissolved. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of this. Stir it in. The recipe did not say to add salt or pepper, but guess what? We're gonna add a little salt and pepper. All right, everything's mixed in. That sauce looks pretty good. I'm gonna now turn it down, put a lid on this to keep it hot. I'm gonna cook off a salmon. We're gonna put that salmon and plate it with some rice when it's done with the sauce on it. We're gonna take some awesome photos of it for social media. Put those photos into the timeline. With some groovy music then we are going to come back and we are going to taste this so enjoy the pictures and enjoy the music truth I did have a little bite of this it was really good it, it smells fantastic it smells incredible so let me take a little bite of this here this is the fish see how this tastes very hot still that salmon is very delicate the sauce is rich but yet delicate and light the cucumber gives it a little bit of lightness to the flavor the dill adds an extraordinary amount of flavor to it. The cream cheese, of course, gives it that creamy texture. I'll get some cucumbers here. Try those on. Hmm. Still got crunch. It was a good idea to keep them thicker than slice them thin. So the salmon is very delicate. The sauce is very 
heavy and creamy, but the cucumber and the dill kind of give that sauce a lightness that makes it all just come together. It's hard to explain. You have to try this out. It's so simple, so easy to make. Um, creamy cucumber and dill sauce. Try it on a piece of salmon with some of this rice too. You won't regret it. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to go down to that description box. Check out all the ingredients that I've got, the measurements for everything, and then all the groovy links that I've got down there as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below, and then share this video and this channel with everybody, everybody that you know. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.